Hi, so this is a video based on the urban design brief to do with um, coming up with a design for a bus shelter. Now on the Teams area you've got some initial dimensions, the context dimension data. Now I know the data is there but as a designer I always start off with actually drawing or sketching out those dimensions so I've got an idea of well, the context and it, it also gets me into, and it, it's a it's a word we use at universities, it helps me get into the problem space, it helps me start to understand what the problem is all about. So if you look at the sketches that we've got on the, on the, on the um, Teams area, I'm going to sketch out, and this is, this is where your sort of practice for sketching really needs to um, be applied. And the idea is, is that you can have a conversation with yourself almost. So looking at the dimensions, we should be working in um, metric, but very kindly there's an eight foot by four foot area in the first sketch and it sort of looks, the first bus stop looks a bit like this. So I'm going to just copy that drawing out and just to let me think about the design, let me think about how they've manufactured this bus shelter and sort of thinking about how it's been laid out and what the sort of rough dimensions are. So they've got a chap sitting. I'm going to use a little ergonome. That's a sort of like just a little sketch. Somebody sort of playing on the mobile phone. And then that's the sort of pavement height. And just to sort of extend the sketch a little bit, I'm going to go for a curb. And I'm going to imagine there's a bus. And again, I'm going to look at the dimensions that we give them for the bus. Now that says 9, so this is 8, there's a bit of a drop, so the bus is a bit taller than the bus shelter. I'm not too worried about how wide it is. Getting near the top of the page there. But I can start to get an idea of my dimensions and think about this idea of, of creating a, a bus shelter that's going to sort of initially perhaps use up this sort of space, a sort of four foot by eight foot space. Um, just looking at sort of 1.2 metres by two and a half metres, that sort of thing. We must obviously think about um, wheelchair users um, and basically accessibility for all sorts of different types of people. So as we're, as we're designing, we need to be thinking about, you know, hearing impaired, visually impaired, um, mobility impaired, um, young people, old people, you know, it, it's quite a wide range um, for for bus shelter, to, for usage. You've got to think about all the different user needs. Okay, so once I've got this, this sort of space defined, I'm initially thinking that this 4x8 sort of proportion, so basically it's just two squares, it's a quite a nice proportion that sort of lets me th start to think about possible design ideas. So, just pause there for a second to sort myself out. Let me start looking at um, the possibility of sort of generating very quick ideas. So, and I'm, I'm not adverse to rulers, I just think that rulers sort of say, you'll notice there just happens to be about four. I'm hoping that's going to be about eight. It's not, it's about seven. So let's just give myself a, a proportion here. That's a four by eight grid. I'm just going to draw one of these just to sort of try and get my eye in on, on proportion. Now I'm using a, a very, um, it's a tripless fine liner. It's a, it's a light grey sort of pen. And I like it for sketching. Pencil's okay, but you get encouraged to, to rub out. Um, and we really don't want you to be sort of pausing and stopping and, and rubbing out. So once I've got that, let's give myself a few more of these squares. Now I haven't got ideas to fill these yet, but I quite like that in a sense because by having a number of squares already worked out, it almost sort of pushes you to get creative because you've got to try and fill these boxes and come up with some ideas that's going to fill them. 
Again, this is the early stage. This doesn't have to be a design that's going to work. It just has to be a design that sort of um, has an idea in it. So um, just keeping it really simple. What if you just had a roof and a sort of a post, maybe a post from corner to corner there. It doesn't have to work, it just has to be an idea. So I'm thinking of sort of a side piece and a roof held like that. There might not be a back, there might be a sort of maybe there's a sort of bench seat suspended in the middle. So um, perhaps it's a little sketch, maybe there's just a roof like that. Come out and this space is you know, this is open, so that's the front. It's sometimes handy to, to label the front of your sketch, and this would be the ground. Just ground that, that, that side like so. Really simple. Bit of a pivot problem there. You'd maybe need some sort of triangulation, something to sort of support that whole thing. But anyway, moving on. So keep it quick. Don't hang around too long. Get an idea down and then move on. I like the idea of doing some curves. So I'm going to push the front this way and I'm going to just try and relax the line a little bit. And again, you know, I'm scribbling. You know, this isn't a finished drawing. This is just um, just trying to get a sort of an idea of a different sort of shape or a different approach that I could do. I quite like that. So that could be maybe need that would need to be longer, but we can deal with that when we can develop the idea. Maybe a little bucket seat. Maybe something that could sort of flex. And the other thing is, I write down as you're working. Just think about, you know. Anything that comes into your head that's part of the problem space. I'm mean, going to think about the rain. You know, it's going to rain. What are you going to do about the rain? How about wind. You know, what are we going to do about that? You know, as ideas occur to you, this is this is the useful idea of opening this as a, as a problem space. Is just what are the problems in this space? What occurs to you as you go along? And just make a note because you're going to have that conversation with yourself later on about how you're going to solve these problems. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's going to sort of fall over. We need some sort of stability. Um, again, not a problem I need to solve now, just thinking about it. So just something in there, just to sort of, you know, what am I going to do about that? So quite, I wonder if that would go the other way. Maybe we could do that again. And don't be afraid to repeat, you know, different variations on a theme. So keeping the theme, does that, I do wonder now if I shouldn't have one that sort of goes all the way across like this. Maybe that goes all the way to the ground, almost like a tent. But, you know, there's a lot of space there that's going to get wasted. So maybe not. But you know, maybe there's a, something in that idea. Um, another quick suggestion, mm, more, these look really open, maybe something a bit more closed, still liking the curved roof, but maybe, Sort of window in there or something. See the bus coming, or maybe. So, um, still got to get one more idea out of this. Um, let's, we've got lots of curve. Let's go back over here. Let's look at this again. And the other thing is to think about how you can combine ideas. How do I combine this very open structure with this very sort of closed-in structure? Um, Maybe just, just do that. Just close it in like that. And again, I'm going to need some sort of windows or something in that space. And there you have it. You've got 
10 minutes and you've got um, a range of possible ideas to explore.